Hi guys, it's Nancy here and I'm back with my second layout for you for the Hey Little Magpie blog post which went up on the 3rd of May. So I picked a kit up, I shared that at the start of um, my last video and it's using Jelly Bean um, Soup's Healthy Hello and also Dear Lizzie's Happy Place. Um, for this layout I'm going to one of my well loved styles which is three 4x6 photos in a column um, with then a journaling card. Um, I've done this style numerous times but I really really like it because it's a great way of showcasing the photos. Um, and these are some photos of the beautiful redwood trees. Um, it was just amazing because they are so tall. It is crazy. Um, but yeah so I've got loads of photos um, which I'm going to scrap of this. So. Um, Yes, I decided to just do these three, more of like an intro page. I'm cutting this paper down um, because I actually want to use it as strips. So I thought if I cut it down, then I can use it still as a background paper. And then these strips are going to be big enough for me to use. So I did cut a little bit more off than I normally would when I'm mounting out my layouts. I absolutely love this floral. Um, it's quite a small floral. It's the same floral which is in the larger design of the papers, but this smaller one and I'm picking a journaling card from the Shine Bright Project Life uh, mini kit so I was just going through and again the colours all work perfectly um, with this even though they're like different collections I end up pulling this one out which actually has silver foiling on which says Wanda um, and I think that's gonna kind of go well with this as an introduction because we did literally just wander through the forest it was pretty amazing I cut out this little loving life And that was from the cut apart sheets. I'm actually going to look cutting up again. Um, I also pulled out that flare badge, which was from the Kiwi collection. And I'm going to contemplate trying to use one of these acetate pieces. Um, but it didn't work. I do. I did have real, real trouble trying to use them. I did get them on a couple of pages though. But mm, I struggled. So anyone got any ideas of how to use those acetate pieces because I bought a whole pack of them. <laughs> um, in the wood veneer pack um, there is the little floral wood veneers and these pick up the exact florals that are in the paper so that's going to work perfectly. So I pull out three of each design and that's just going to give me a little cluster and I'm really happy with how that looks so I'm going to stick it down. I mean this layout took me less than half an hour, it is super simple um, and as I said this is going to be more of an introduction page. Um, that piece of paper I just stuck down there was actually a um, branding strip from a Dear Lizzie paper. So I'm just going to stick my photos down. I really love, again, this Dear Lizzie paper which is in the background. It just, it's just, you know, the bright colour green. Picks up the green in the photos perfectly. So as I normally do when I'm working this one, um, with this design, I put a couple of strips of paper either side. Um, and that just works fine for me. So I'm just using my wet glue to stick this down because they are thin little bits of paper. And this is a little bit of Dear Lizzie polka dot. Even though it's ombre, it kind of works well. And as I said, I was not sure what to do whether to cut the corners or not on this. So I did end up cutting that corner down because um, I didn't like the rounded corner on there. Sometimes it doesn't bother me so much, but this time I decided to cut it down and it just means a little bit of green is showing that side as well which echoes the little bit of green showing on the other side. So I'm just using a little floral piece of paper down there on the bottom. I'm going to use some mists, I'm going to use some turquoise um, Sorry guys, don't quite know what happened there. I think I was talking but I'm not sure if it was recording. Um, I pulled out some of my Dilutions Mists, so there's a green, a turquoise, and then I pull out my yellow. And I don't know why I didn't use that yellow more, because it is blooming lovely. So I did end up using it on quite a lot of these layouts, because the colour just was perfect. So I'm just going to end up cutting down that little um, card, because it was a bit of a weird size and it didn't fit quite right. So just in cutting it down actually meant I could pull that bit over the two different parts of the layout. So I've got that loving life piece and then actually the confetti piece as well. So I'm super happy how that came out actually. 
and you know how just cutting that little bit off meant I could spread it across um, the layout. So then I'm just making sure I've got one of each um, of the floral wood veneers and said so they work really well. And normally you kind of do a three point cluster on here and you can quite easily on this layout but I didn't want to bring any more wood veneer in. I am trying to limit the thickness of some of these layouts. I've already got a flare on here as well. So I'm just going to bring a little bit of clustering down into the bottom there including the date because that's just going to mean everything will tie in together. Put out some washi tape. I have so much washi tape that I need to use it more. So I used it on the last layout and I used it on this layout. So, so far, go me. Doing quite well with the old washi tape. And I'm just putting a little bit in each cluster. Um, and it's an arrow one, so it looks kind of fine pointing towards the photos. And I think I've had that one a long, long time. I think it even maybe a Studio Calico one. Um, so I'm just going to... Um, then take out the ah sorry my narration died yet again oh, I don't know what is going on with my laptop today I think it's probably overwork um, so yeah as I said I think um, I'm putting out my um, I'm gonna pull out my alphas I think I just took my phone out at this point and was actually looking to see exactly where these photos were taken but then I decided no I'm gonna put that on the project um, the pocket pages so I'm just going to glue these down and as I said I'm just gluing those at the top and the bottom and just using my wet glue that I use um, for sticking stuff down. <laughs> it's really good and it sticks over the photos and the washi tape fine. And I'm going to just use the wet glue to stick my flare down as well. So taking the jelly bean soup stickers just to stick the date down here in the end I just say I don't decide I'm putting a title down. Um, and I also found these little stickers which were, they were old seven paper ones I think, these little hearts and actually had three colours that worked perfectly with this layout so I do end up just popping them down at the bottom just for another little, little cluster and I'm going to just add, add some mist to the different clusters because I hadn't added any, added any to that top cluster um, and this is where I then decide to take out my paintbrush and paint those wood veneer as well. So I do have to find a clean paintbrush. Because um, I'm not too good at making sure I clean them afterwards. So I'm going to use um, my yellow, my turquoise and my blue mist to colour those in. And as I said, they match perfectly um, with the paper and I'm really pleased. Oh no, green and turquoise. I'm really pleased how they come out and actually do end up using these mists on um, a couple of other pages as well, colouring in the wood veneer. Um, I've got a lot of wood veneer and I haven't used it much lately but just colouring these in on these pages really made me remember how versatile they are and also like you can emboss them and stuff like that so I need to get back on that really. <laughs> so that is really it for this layout, I'd say I kept it pretty simple, it was under half an hour and I love how it came out. So sorry that it was a little bit jumpy with the narration, sometimes my laptop just doesn't like me. So thank you very much guys for watching and I'll speak to you all again very very soon. Bye!